Greetings, Bobby W6IWN here. I'm with Ricky Radar today, and we're gonna show you how to do a soda and a poda on two meters. You too can do this as a tech. Right now we're at 7,700 feet at Grouse Ridge in Northern California on Soda Summit W6NS195 in Poda Park US4469. Let's show you what I'm using and how I'm setting it up so you can do this too. All right, first off, let me show you where I'm at and what's going on and why I'm standing by an outhouse at 7,700 feet. This is one of the coolest outhouses I have discovered ever. It's on the edge of a cliff up here. Uh, and this Grouse Ridge is an abandoned fire lookout. So that's where I'm gonna be setting up is up there today. It's really windy, so I think I'm gonna have to take shelter on one side. Let's go take a peek. Up, up we go. Okay, here's the views from here. There's the little outhouse I was down by before. Just great line of sight up here. Uh, if you're familiar with Northern California, Sacramento, the capital of California, is that away? way You can work the whole Sacramento Valley for, from here, a lot of the Bay Area, uh, even further. I've even worked Nevada from up here, Lake Tahoe. It's just a great uh, two meter spot. Number one. Location, location, location. I picked this spot for the location. It's got great line of sight at the Sacramento Valley, the Bay Area, there's nothing in between. It's just a great spot to do two meter. So when you pick your location, elevation is great, but still make sure you have a line of sight and there's some cities where people are gonna be on the radio and work you. You could be at 7,000 feet, but too far away, or there could be some eight or 9,000 feet mountains between you and where people are on the radio that you can work. So uh, choose your location wisely. Let's show you what I'm gonna be using for gear today. For an antenna today, I'll be using the Signal Staff by Signal Stuff. Uh, it's the same company that makes the Signal Stick Whips. Uh, I call it the Shocker. It, it comes apart. These sections all come apart. I keep it kind of put together in my backpack so I don't have to fiddle with it. But I just screw these sections all together and bam, I got a J-pole. Uh, this simply screws in to my camera tripod here and it, since it's windy, maybe up here I'll be okay, but if I was down there, if you look, there's a little hook on the bottom of the tripod. I like to hook a rope with some rocks or something for some counterweight because I've had this thing blow over before and you don't want it to blow over and wreck your antenna. All right, let's check out the radio. To be up front with you, none of this is sponsored anyway. I'm just going out having fun. I paid for all this stuff myself. I am using the Yesu. FT2980, I really dig this radio, it's 80 watts. Uh, my buddy uh, Derek K6 DJV, uh, he turned me on to this a long time ago. I was watching some of his YouTube, check out his channel, I'll put a link up here. Uh, but yeah, this thing is rad. He uh, coined it the George Foreman grill, you'll see why. To power this baby, I'm using a Biano Power 12 amp hour battery. And that's about it for the gear. Let's get all set up spot ourselves and uh, start calling on two meters, see what happens. All right, here's the shack of the day. Got the FT8 2980 all set up. And then I got the signal staff here on the, the camera tripod. And it just goes up. I'm keeping it a little lower than normal just because the wind, I can ex extend it a little higher, but I think I'll keep where, where it's at just so that way it doesn't topple over. Okay, quick change of plans. The wind already toppled my tripod and I didn't have that weight under it like I was telling you guys to do. So what I did is I have these Titan straps that are elastic. I closed the tripod in and then I just strapped it here. And then that way I could uh, extend it all the way up now too. All right, let's get to operating. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now real quick is I'm gonna go on the Soda app and the Poda app and I'm gonna spot myself. If you're interested in doing that, I'm hoping to post a video soon on a how-to soda and poda. So now that I'm spotted, I'm gonna go ahead and activate. CQ, CQ soda, CQ poda. This is W6IWN, Grouse Ridge, 7,700 feet, calling CQ, CQ and listening. All right, uh, Joshua, I got you at a 5959 up here, Grouse Ridge. Uh, it's up by uh, Siskiyou Grove, Kingville area, Highway 80. All right, cool. Yeah, you're 59 
two for fighting. QRZ? November 5, Delta, India, Mike. November 5, Delta, India, Mike. N5, DIM, I got you. 5 9, Tony, 5 9. 76 IWN, 76 KSS. I got you clear in Orangeville and broadcast. Oh, okay, Ryan. All right, I like your call sign. That is really cool, my friend. I got you 5'9 up here, Grouse Ridge, 7,700 feet. Got KO6 BCZ here uh, with a copy. I'll give you one. W6IWN, this is Whiskey Bravo 6 Sierra, Mike Charlie. Good luck on your quest. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, I'm doing a little YouTube video, and I was, I'm a general, but I was trying to show how you can, from the right area, do a summit or parks on the air on two meters. And then that will give you a bit, and then you'll get your general and go for more. Kilo November 6, Echo Victor, Quebec. You're 5 9 into Patterson. Kilo 9, Tango, Alpha, Zulu. November 6, Juliet, Papa Golf Mobile. On the Yolo Causeway heading towards Davis from Sacramento currently, and you're 5'9 here. Whiskey Delta 6, Fox Rock Golf Bravo, Zero Mountains. CQ Joda, this is Kilo Oscar 6, Charlie Golf Yankee. W6IWN. That call sign was Whiskey 6, India Whiskey November, is that correct? This is KO6 CGY. QSL, uh, I'm up here, I'm, I was doing summits and parks on the air, so that's cool. We got a Soda Poda to Joda. That's a first for me. Sounds like you're doing some Joda. So I'll let you have the frequency, my friend, and I appreciate it. And you have a great weekend out there. Hope to work you down the logs. Thank All right, Ricky's getting a little chillier out of head down the mountain. We'll give that gentleman uh, the frequency so he could do his Joda. That's really cool he's out there doing that. So this is how I started with my tech license. I started doing two meter summits and there's only so many that I could do in this area that I live in that are high enough up with the line of sight. So that really inspired me to get my general license. So uh, once I got bit as a tech, then I got my general. And I'll tell you what, it's a ton more fun, Soda and Poda, uh, doing your general. So yeah, please get out there and try it. Well, just try it. That's all you can do is try it. And I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Uh, Ricky and I do put a lot of effort into these videos. So if this is something you, you like, please feel free to hit that like button. And uh, if you want to see more, feel free to hit that subscribe button. 73.